and I just hope she stays out for a while. Like I said, I do this every week, so I'm kind of used to waiting till you start. And this may not work either. She'll go walk away after a moment. Say, mm, I'm not ready for a long walk yet. I'm just kind of testing it out. Oh. It's so beautiful in the sun, though. So the beginning, when I would come late in the day, I never got to be see the yeah. beautiful light. The clock going through that tail right. was amazing. Exactly. That kind of stuff was totally new to me. That day I came for the birthday, it was like eye opening. I was like, oh my gosh. So you like to come out in the middle of the day. All right, so and the body is almost like a blue gray. It's the lighting in here because at home, I could give, I'll show you pictures after we're done looking at her in person where she's really jet black. So she's jet black. Oh yeah, she's stark. It's, I think it's just the lighting here, or it could be the quality of the water that she has. Whatever it is, I mean, she's in the best health she could possibly have. She's just in impeccable health. But she, I think it's the, just the lighting that makes it look a bit that way. Because I can show you pictures. She is black, like dark, dark black. But I can't guarantee she hasn't changed a little bit over time from the kind of water conditions because she has whole totally different conditions. Whatever she's in here is different than whatever I, I, mean, I can barely even manage her. She's in a 10 gallon tank. So now she's in a 330 gallon tank. The, the knee, that gives you an idea. See Maybe. how here it's almost, well, the head is almost blue. I know. But that, well, that's the camera. The weird thing I though, is I was using the same camera back then. So it wasn't like the camera has changed. And she was black. Yeah, she had. Like I try to come with a light out for that reason. Because this is when she starts to come out. Like I said, between two and three. I learned this over every weekend I'm here, so I always have a chance to be schooled. <laughs> and you come late in the day, you're gonna spend a lot of time by yourself thinking about your problems. <laughs> Because Charles is not going to be out there. Oh, she doesn't come out at all late in the day. I mean, come out 30 seconds, oh, minute, whatever. This is long, this is long. Right, that's why, that's why I put the time in to come in early because that's very rewarding. They all know that there's a video. Oh, totally. They know what's going on. When, well, when I come late in the day and I'm out here talking to her, begging her to come out, because I'll talk to the empty tank and say, Charles, come out, Daddy's here. Come visit me, and these guys will look at me like she doesn't care. She's like, like a cat. She's much like more like a cat than a dog. This is a long visit from her, and I'm very stoked that she's been so good today and spending all this high quality time with us and doing things that she doesn't normally do because she's just being so good. And I do believe she's aware of things and that people in spirit form can make her aware of stuff. And it may not be what you, may not be like they're telling her to do stuff exactly, but they know how to make her come over or make her aware of stuff. Because certain days she's done things I can't even really believe. Um, and she spent tons of time out and come over to the glass and stare. Exactly. Now they're all, they know the routine. Everyone knows that they're used to being that feeling of like, ah, that fish. What makes her so special? She probably recognizes the phone, too. Well, they take really good care of her. like a nasty glare on this side in the corner sometimes. But she looks so happy. And supposedly when their tail and body have like really strong vibrant colors, it's supposed to be an indicator that they're in good shape. And she, thank God, always had that in my tank, but she obviously is like, she just looks so good. She looks so happy. She's not fat. She's heavy, but she's just perfect. She was fat when I had her. When I got her here, she was overweight. And he told me that. How do they feed them, you know, so they're not competing with each other for the food? 
he explained it one time, but he, he's in and out of here so quickly, and it was like, I'm always so just, honest to God, when I see this guy, I'm just in reverence of him because he's taking care of her, you know, so like, to each fish. He, no, he explained it, they, they do three feedings a day, certain kind of food at certain times a day, he said, so technically, the time that she's, there's one time that she likes the certain food, but she basically can get in on a, 